Okay, time to play. Yay. I love this game so much. It's such a great game. Um, oh. I have a save file in here. Well, we're starting a new one. It's weird that the save files are like these test tubes. I really don't know what's up with that, but I think it's kind of cool. I think this is going to show exactly what just was shown, but whatever, it's important. And <laughs> this time we're going to talk over it. So the story of this game is super vague, and even after playing through it a couple times, I don't really understand what's going on <laughs> exactly. But I think that's kind of the point. Like, it's just all super mysterious and weird. Although I would like to know exactly what's going on because <laughs> it's a really interesting game. And the concept is super interesting. Like, the thing about this game is that you play as this boy's shadow, which you're seeing is getting cut from him right now. <laughs> Sorry. So, this dude cuts off the boy's shadow and throws it off the tower. What you have to do is climb back up to hopefully get back to your body. But you're a shadow, so you can only traverse in the shadows. And that leads to a lot of fascinating level design. And puzzles. And you have this little fairy that helps you. Well, it's not a fairy. They call it something else. I forgot what they call it. It's basically a fairy. <laughs> the thing is, I don't really... Well, you'll see. It's, it's super mysterious. And it's kind of in the same vein as, like, Ico. And other games like that, where it's just a platformer that with this kind of weird, dreamy feel to it. I don't really know how to describe it, but if you've seen Aiko, you know what I mean. Like, look at this! This is gorgeous! I... I would like an HD remake of this game for Wii U, please, <laughs> but... <clears throat> it looks really great, and it's so cool. Like, see, he's just a shadow. He's not on the actual wall. He's just running along the shadows, but you can still see the... It, Okay, so like they could, what they could have done with this concept is just have it be a 2D game. And that would still make sense. That would still work. I can see this as just a plain 2D game. But they chose to have the 3D environment so that you could see in context what it's like to be a shadow. Like, uh, it's so interesting. And the only way you get story in this game is you collect memories. Which is basically the memories of the boy, so it's just his point of view. Yeah, and his thoughts and stuff. Um, I think there are some things that are more world explanatory, but I don't quite remember. Yep. And this is also just like a kind of deep game. Kind of philosophical. Um, dang it, I can't remember the word that's commonly used to describe games like this. Gotta grab the eyes to unlock the end of the level. Yeah, and it's possible to like fall off the world because there's no longer a shadow to stand on. Which is kind of weird to think about because like normally shadows are connected to their to 
the physical person, so... Like, it doesn't matter if there are other shadows, but here he has to rely on the other shadows. <laughs> oh, I, that's right, I have to use the pointer in this game. Which is using the fairy to do this thing. Or she can move physical objects for me, so it creates paths of shadows. Which is like the coolest mechanic in this game. Manipulating the physical world changes the shadows and creates paths for you. Spangle, that's her name. Spangle is the fairy. Also, see, like, I can't. Oh, never mind. Oh, no. And there's also weird things like that. Like, for some reason, the shadow running on the shadow of that object affected it. It makes them fall. I, that's pretty cool. Not that it makes sense, but it's cool. Oh, there's also a memory down here. You really want to collect as many memories as possible because health is very important. I also find it interesting that it the shadow is measured in weight. As you can also see on the left it says I'm 5.6 grams now. That's basically your health. Oops. There we go, press B. And it always maintains a camera angle so you can see what you're physically not running around on. <laughs> I mean, the thing that is creating the shadow. Yeah, see, he wants to get his body back. So, yeah, that's why you need the monitor eyes, so you can exit the level. And don't even bother trying to do it without the monitor eyes, because you'll get hurt. Later on we'll get some puzzles with the physical objects in which you have to like manipulate it just the right way to get the um What's the point of it? It's too blurry to read. Whatever. <coughs> to get the path open how you want. Although we might be getting that sooner than I remember. Oops, oh my god, I keep pressing the wrong buttons. Oh, well, here's a sort of puzzle like that. See, it was telling you that the monitor is up there, but you need to manipulate this to get to it. And also, you can stand on it and rise with the shadow. It doesn't really matter if the shadow rotates, as long as it doesn't just disappear completely. It's a lot more flexible than it would be if it was a physical platformer. Which is also interesting, that, that difference. That being a shadow makes... Oh, this is just telling me that I can do that? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Yeah. This is one of those things I was talking about. Like, you have to move this in a certain way to get past. And the shadow changes as it rotates. Um, 
Do I have to get up there? I feel like I do. Maybe not right now. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's a there's an eye right there. That's what I was trying to say earlier. You can just fall off, but I mean that's bad because without a shadow to land on, you just you can't really exist. Okay, let's see if I can remember how to do this puzzle. Oh, here we go. It's also interesting that, you know, in most games there's a background, but in this game, it's a foreground. <laughs> like, the background is where you play. It gets a little getting used to. Because a lot of times I do find myself wanting to look in the foreground, but... You can't do that, that's not where he exists. <laughs> See, like, that would be kind of easy to get to if I were in the real world. <laughs> you could just jump to it, but the shadow's in the way. You have to think in 2D while you're seeing the 3D. It, it's very strange. It's a very unique game. And I'm kind of sad that it's kind of obscure. I don't remember if I should go down there or not. I probably should, but whatever. an eye somewhere. Yeah, I missed an eye. Okay. Pretty sure there's a shadow wall over there. Where's that eye? Oh, oh, no, no, oh, ow. That's right, there's that lever, and I needed to get to it to open that thing. Oh, right, right, right. Sorry, I forgot. You can just move this. Ha. I'm dumb. There we go. My bad. <coughs> Cut me some slack, it's been a while since I played this. Okay.
A trap. Easy to get across. Oh yeah, and Shadow Corners are like... I wouldn't say a mini-game, but... You're like an extra puzzle that you should really solve. I don't remember if you're forced or not. I think you could skip them, but you really should do them. Although they can have some difficult puzzles. That one was easy, because it was the first one. <laughs> oh yeah, it gives you experience and a bunch of health. Because yeah, there's actually experience in this game and you level up and stuff. No, darn it. <laughs> Not fast enough. Come back! Okay, now we can go to the tram station. Well, that was close. <laughs> I also like how the shadows will be affected by the geometry and the... well, that it's set up against. Like this curves around that, and yeah, <laughs> it's pretty cool. There's a memory over there. Oh, I bet I can get to that by falling down that trick walkway. Here we go. So evil to put that right underneath that ladder. Complete. Let's go to the tram station. Oh yeah, and see look? He's in the very far background, so he's so tiny. Which makes sense for a shadow. Like, it's all connected, so like, even though it's way back there... It doesn't matter. It, it's the connected shadow. So cool.
I believe this heals you. Or it's a respawn point, actually, I think. And yeah, changing perspective changes the shadows a lot, so... That's mostly what these um, puzzles are about, is changing the perspective. But try not to uh, trap yourself behind a new shadow that appears. I guess that'll work. I don't even know what these things are that are moving. They're just kind of pendulums moving back and forth for some reason. I don't really get it. music. But you know, if he was thrown directly off that tower, how did he get so far away from it? Eh, whatever. <laughs> it makes for a cool uh, intro. Shut up, Corridor. Ah, oh, this introduces the <coughs> the light changing mechanic. It's just like moving objects, except it's a light source, so it changes the shadows more directly. Whoop, that. There you are. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I jumped too soon. Oops. Let's try that again. There we go. Oh my god, the camera's making it really difficult to do this. Get up there! Thank you. Oh, 
This thing is mysterious. I guess I'll just leave it alone. Danger. So the first dangers they present you with, besides spikes. Oh, which I just jumped right into. That was smart. I was gonna say... Notice how these things aren't shooting any physical arrows either. It's only shooting a shadow arrow. Just think about that. Well yes, obviously it's just the bottom of the tower. <laughs> Things are technically supposed to be like the architecture in the tower is pretty damn weird. But whatever it makes for interesting shadows. Okay, see if I turn it this way again. Yeah, I can't do that because it would squash me. I can't do that either. So that's how you know that. Yeah, you're done with that. Move on. I mean, I could have figured I could jump up there, but I just wanted to. Sh anyway, I just wanted to show you what happens. If you turn it too much. Ooh, those are some nasty spiders. Yep, <laughs> I didn't even mean to quote him. <laughs> I didn't realize he was going to say nasty spider. Yep, there are enemies in this game. Mostly spiders. Hey look, a sword! Just take that sword shadow and it disappears for some reason. Another difference between or that being a shadow makes. Even if the sword is old and rusty and bent or whatever, its shadow is still very nice. <laughs> There's a three attack combo and jump and kneel attacks, and spiders are really annoying.
There's the combo. I know, right? <laughs> Having a sword is always nice. Oh, I wow. <laughs> My bad, I should have noticed that that would happen. It's weird to put me all the way back there. Ow. There's the map. There's the map. And... Wait, and experience, and next, and how many memories I've gotten in my level. Are there items? Oh. Ah, I never actually bothered with that menu. Whoops, I don't know. That's what I meant. Oh yeah, and you can reread the memories you've already found. You can change difficulty, I think. Anyway, okay. There. Ow. They don't really give much health back. But at least it's something. Ow. I told you not all of them were spiders. I'm not sure what he was referring to. <laughs> they were all in a row. And they all attacked me at once. And then I all killed them all, one after another. This is the way back up if you fall.
And now, I think this is the last new mechanic. Squashed by shadows, like I almost did there. <laughs> okay, now that thing just will spit out spiders until I kill it. I didn't give it the opportunity to, but it was going to. It was a spawn point. There we go. And the lights can be moved horizontally and vertically, depending on which slider is here. level has a boss. Which is this big old mean spider. Which does that. Let's be careful. <coughs> I had to come up with a strategy, fade into attacking and then run away and then attack. If I let it hit me, it would hurt a lot. A lot more than the other spiders, anyway. I can't hit blue-eyed enemies, I can only hit red-eyed. switch up there. <laughs> oh, darn it. I was trying to be cool and hit it in the air after I jumped. It didn't work. Because the camera changed. Oh well. Oh, 
why I'm losing all the health. That's not good. Fighter. Oh, the way the shadow does its thing, it's funny. Thanks for the hint. That was blocking that um thing, the the switch that I was trying to point out earlier. Uh, how do I get back up? Oh, right this way. Whoops. up for the arrows and spiders spawning on me ow oh, I didn't even notice that one oh crap see I already gained at least one level ah oh, I didn't see that one either because I'm killing these spiders in two hits instead of one now or three, sorry. Oh wait, no. No! No! I didn't mean to go back down! Ah, oh, damn it. My bad. I mean, I have to go back down, but I meant to grab that eye first. I didn't realize the <coughs> stupid uh, switch was going to make it go down, I forgot. <laughs> Actually, no. Yeah. I need to go here. Never mind. This part is really hard the first time you play because you're like, I can't jump away from them. Ow. Oh, I died. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Oops. Well, that would have been easier if I hadn't gotten hit by so many spiders before. Oh yeah, and when you die it says, boy number one. Every time you die, it increases that number. I'll let you think about what that means. Oh, but it does mean I have to do this whole level again. Ah, <sighs> my bad. Yeah, I'm level 2 now, so that means I can kill spiders in two hits instead of three, but 
They still do quite a bit of damage to me. I just realized that activating this meant that it at least didn't show me grabbing the experience from that other enemy I just killed. I don't know if it still got acquired or not. Oh well. Doesn't matter really. Okay, let's try not to die this time. By like paying attention to where the spiders are spawning, that would be a good idea. Ow, damn it. There's a spider chilling on that platform. Gee, thanks, game. Oh, and that one, too. <laughs> Another boss fight? All three enemy types. Oh, wait, no, wait, though. These are both really big spiders. Come on. Oh no, I didn't want to. Oh shit. Okay. Don't engage both of them, that's the key. survived. We're all good. I want to do the level a third time. <laughs> And now we have to not get squashed by the shadows in the moving platform. 
And try not to get hit by arrows either. Damn it. <laughs> I tried jumping, but it was too late. Oh, crap. Crouched in time there, though. Oh, I have 0 0.01 health left. Oh man. Okay. I remember dying to this guy. Because he's at the, the ledge. It's, he's in such a small area. No, no, no. Get back here. This seems to be working. Yes, okay. Woo. <laughs> that was really clutch. Tower, now we're in the factory. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> yep, those blades hurt. <laughs> Oh, now it tells you about EXP. to move the shadows so I can jump up there. Oops. Move the shadows again so I can go over here. In the shadow quarters it's not always obvious what's casting the shadows. Not like the main level. There we go. It doesn't bother showing you 3D model in the foreground of what's casting a shadow. Yep, thanks for reminding me. Aw, I had a good rhythm going without getting hit. No. Bye. Okay. I just have this monster to deal with.
Should I get that eye? I guess you just drop down. And like now the angle is weird, so it's kind of hard to judge distances and stuff because everything looks bigger than it was before. Although I think it went back now. That's just an another interesting side effect about being a shadow. Judging the distance that I can hit my sword. Ah, got you cornered. Dude, look at those light shafts. Look at that. That's so pretty. Such a nice detail. Another one of these mysterious things. Nothing I can do with that right now. There we go. I want to kill these things. Because I can, even if I got hurt. Here's another enemy, although it's more of a natural, I mean, environment and enemy. But Freaking saw blade. Saw blades can be very annoying.
I want to kill it. I will kill it. No! Damn it. Ooh, that was really close. There! I killed it. <laughs> I almost fell off again, but I got it. The way the shadow is split up on whatever that- those pipes, yeah, they're pipes. Okay. <laughs> it's just so interesting. <laughs> Here's this again. Wonder what it is. What it does. Pretty cool, actually, what it does. I think this puzzle is easy, you just keep going the same direction. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, maybe not. Here we go. Ah, oh, saw void. I was like, I know there's something moving here. It's a dip of saw void. There's a spider up here for some reason. <laughs> here we go. Wait, can I move this? I don't like there should be something I can move here, but... Well, what is this thing? Oh, it's that... that... armadillo thing. Do you pass the saw blade again? Which actually I can just go this way. Much easier than the way I was doing it before. No! Darn it. Okay. 
Okay. I was gonna jump, but I didn't realize that he was gonna have to recover, and it would open by the time he recovered. Close. Ow. <laughs> there we go. Alright, ready for the end of the level. the timer on that one. Eh, gave me enough time. Plenty of time. I didn't really jump because of this one, so I was gonna get hurt either way. Oh, uh, this guy again. There's this thing. Once more, there's so many of those around. You know, some memory over there. Well, we can't really get to that right now. Spoiler alert, yes, you do go back to levels. <laughs> oh no, two of these guys. Ow. Yeah, that wasn't really hard. <laughs> Uh, no, uh, I have to ride on it. Pointer, please. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. No. Ow! Uh, I didn't realize it was still alive. Another one. Ah, no, don't kill me. Oops. 
I was trying to swing my sword, but you just walked right into it instead. How annoying. Missing something. Yes. There we go. No, I think that's how it was supposed to be. Ugh. Damn it, move. <laughs> there we go, okay. He wasn't catching it before for some reason. Oh boy, giant squishy blocks. <laughs> I mean, blocks that like want to squish me. Basically. <sighs> really getting up there. Already to like the 15th floor. Ow. I didn't realize there was a thing right there. to get through that door. Oh no, that was a big armadillo guy. It might be hard because they roll low, but they actually... 
die pretty ow easily. Oh, God damn it. Ow, damn it, that small one won't leave me alone. Okay, fine. Oh, uh, just there we go. Deal with you. Oh boy, I'm almost dead. And I can barely jump over him. Anything over here? Oh, yes, there is. Ow, there's things that want to kill me over here. Ow. Okay. You. Oh my gosh. Why'd you fall off? No, no. Get back up there. Go like this. No, uh. Come on. Come on, kid. Get up, get up, get up there. Oh, that barely made a miss. Are you coming? Okay. Phew, I was afraid I was gonna spawn another one. Ow. I knew I should have been so aggressive.
something doesn't feel right. Well, you're you're a shadow, so I mean, <laughs> duh. Danger, danger, danger. Danger, Will Robinson. <laughs> mm, let's over this way. Aha. Good thing I checked. Yeah, this game might seem like linear levels, but you do have to explore a bit. I mean about having to turn it a lot. <laughs> hey DJ, what's up? Oh yes, the Shadow Soul. Okay, we're about to have some fun in here. This game goes from casual platform puzzling to... Well, you'll see. This thing. monstrosity <laughs> just wants to eat my shadow so you have to run it's very intense you have to get to run and hit things and that makes it stop because it's like light or something I don't know but like oh gosh keep running keep keep running from it I don't know if that helps work this out there but whatever <laughs> Ah, you have to wait for platforms. It's kind of intense. Uh, is it coming? It's probably coming. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. Uh, hit the switch. There we go. Run. God, the music's intense too. Oh no. Hit the switch. There we go. Go, go, go. Up the ladder. Climb. Climb. Well, I kind of lost. Oh, no, there it is. Uh, okay, well, I don't know how to get to that. I'm just gonna keep running. Hope I didn't need to get to that switch. <laughs> no, get up. Get up, get up, get up, get up. No! It kind of gives you a chance by hurting you a lot. There we go. Actually what it does is it starts to eat you so it lowers your max health, which sucks. I don't know if you ever get it back. I keep running. Run. No, 
nothing in my way. Just go to 419. Okay. I lost it. Now the deal's the spiders again. Yep, for now. There there are other levels like that. It's pretty intense. Especially with all the stuff getting in your way. Yeah, I know, it, it's been a while since I streamed. Well, Thanksgiving was last week, and so I didn't stream then. And before that, I know there was... Even though I streamed on like the 20th, before Thanksgiving, I... It was a long period where I didn't stream, because I was sick. I mean, when I was sick I streamed, and then after that I was like, no, I'm not streaming anymore. <laughs> Anyway. But now there's finals going on, and then there'll be Christmas, so I don't know how much more I'll stream. Oh god. Please, don't. Thank you. <laughs> I was like, don't drop another one of those, I'm gonna die. See, it doesn't really look like it's just out of reach. I mean, if you look in the foreground here, it's like, oh, I could run across that, but nope, this thing's in the way. You have to think of it differently when you're a shadow. <laughs> There's the end of the level already. I missed one. Ugh. I hate it when I miss one. I didn't go this way into the shadow corridor. Oh, yeah, that was kind of dumb. Come back here, let me hit you. There, you're dead. <laughs> okay. There. Shadow Gordor is just all about platforming and killing things. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. Yeah. I don't think I'm completely over the sickness. Oh no! Ah, hang on.
Okay, sorry. Kill all the things. Kill all the things just because I need the experience. The more experience, the better. Makes the later levels much easier. Okay, now I can make this thing. Just barely made that. Oh, don't worry. That monster will come back. <laughs> but where is... Dang it, where's the thing? Oh, that guy's back. Great. Oh, it's down there. No. Oh. Hey, not fair. I was falling down and it just had to hit me. That spider respawns for some reason. Just to make getting up this ladder hard. getting down it. Sheesh. This level is brutal. Just gonna jump over this guy. Whatever. I don't feel like fighting it. Experience is nice, but not when you're gonna die. <laughs> I could totally die to that thing. Um, oh right, I didn't have to go up here. Duh. It's over here. Hmm, the 20th floor. Already, man. Already. Oh, this is the backstory, yeah. <laughs> I forgot about those little cutscenes that sort of explain what's going on. So the Shadow Monster is actually the main enemy in the game. <laughs> like, it's the reason that anything exists. But you can't fight it directly. Okay. Look how far up the tower we are already. That didn't take that long, it's only been like an hour. <laughs> the game is quite long. Uh, quite more than just a couple hours long.
And of course it's even longer if you don't really know what you're doing. <laughs> I at least sort of know what I'm doing because I've played this before. Even if it has been a while, I don't quite remember where everything is. And all the puzzles, but I mean, it's not really that difficult of a game. The difficulty level that you can set is only for the enemies. I tried to hit it midair, but I landed, so he couldn't swing the sword. Uh. Okay, so I have to go in here. Get moved over to here. And like that. And that's. Nope, oh, nope, too far. There we go. Ah. There we go. I had to use that third uh, downswing. I like the brief little sword slash effect. You know, it's probably like one frame of a texture put on there. Good touch. Okay, I had to get hurt a lot to see it over here. This better be worth it. At least it has a healing thing. Oh wow, 10 grams exactly. That don't grab onto the spikes. What are you doing? Stop it. <laughs> you just drop where you're standing. Tuesday, this game is so cool. <laughs> I love it so much. It's just so creative. Uh, how do I get out of here? Oh. 
Oh no, now I'm back over here. Ugh. Well, that time it worked on the second swing. Whatever. Yeah, that's what I was supposed to do before I went down there, let's block that. <laughs> I didn't do that, so I got hurt a lot. Can't go that way, there's spikes. Um I guess I just keep going this way. What do these do? Okay. Damn it. That's what the reset switch is for. Erg. I didn't mean to fall. That's so annoying. Not see that spider there. I am not falling back down there to go kill it. Oh, but I'm still missing a thing. Damn it. I didn't see another one, where is it? Oh, well, I guess I'm falling. <laughs> This one's too far. 
This makes that other one show up, but it also blocks my path. There we go. That's how I do it. Wish I had some sort of ranged attack. That would be really nice on these guys. But I dealt with it just fine. Ow. Eh. Oh, where's the pointer? Where the pointer go? There it is. When did that thing get there? Oh, they move on their own. Fall off. I probably could have gone and gotten that, but I wasn't risking it. Probably don't want to fall and have to go back. Fitch level. Wait. Oh, it's missing. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> I gotta reset it again. I probably could fix it by messing around with the levers, but it's easier just to reset. Because I know that this works. Wait a second. Wait a second. <laughs> I forgot to do this. <laughs> My bad. Twenty four. Twenty fourth floor. I don't remember how many floors there are, actually. But there's a lot. <laughs> ah, that, that. Wasn't expecting that. There we go. That's how I get out.
There we go. I missed one again. Mm. First one is. No. That's the third one. Where's the exit? Where's the first one? Ugh. Got squished. Use a memory. Yeah. God damn it. Oh, my gosh. Okay, it's gotta be over here. There it is. <laughs> I just totally ignored this. This game is super weird, but I love it. It's so unique. I don't think you can find any other game quite like it. Ah, oh, it's thing again. I mean, thanks for the XP, but I don't really need it. Okay, well, I think I'm done. 
This game is really fun, it's really easy to just keep going from level to level, to level. but I'm, I'm really tired. And I should be nice to my voice, because I don't think I'm fully over that sickness I had like three weeks ago. So, I don't think I can talk anymore, I'm sorry. Thanks for watching though. I I really like showing off this uh this amazing game. <laughs> I'm pretty sure barely anybody's heard of it and I think it's one of the better games on the Wii for sure. And it totally needs an HD remake on Wii U. Definitely. Or at least a uh virtual console release, but that's probably never going to happen. <laughs> oh well. Anyway, thanks for watching everybody.